All right, so let's talk about mutation testing. And this is gonna be a brief introduction and I'll try to explain it in less than five minutes. So what is mutation testing? Mutation testing is a technique that is used to, to, uh, to measure the quality of your test suites. And in particular, it's used to measure the long-term quality of your test suite. This is in opposition to code coverage. Mutation testing complements code coverage. Mutation testing is a measure of how well your test will detect regressions in the future. Okay? Whereas code coverage is an instantaneous measure of how of the quality of your test suite right now at this specific point in time, mutation testing and its associated mutation score is a long-term metric that gives you a really good indication of how well your test suites will perform in the long run. Okay? So let me draw a rough analogy to, to explain this better. So suppose um, we have a, th this function um, represents the evolution of, of a system under test okay, over time. Now, as in, as in differential calculus, let's say we want to, to draw a, a, a slope at this specific point. Okay? This is called the instantaneous slope. It's, it's represented by this tangent right there. So the analogy is that code coverage is the instantaneous slope. There is code, the, the, the code coverage metric uh, represents the code coverage at that specific point in time. Okay. Now the problem with code coverage is that it misleads. It would be it would be a mistake to um, assume that because code coverage has this slope at this specific point in time, that it will have that slope throughout the project. Okay. In reality, what happens is that code coverage uh, does not follow the slope at all. It might it might go down. Uh, it might go up. But as, as the software, as the system under test evolves, code coverage is, uh, is uh, independent of what it used to be before, okay? So what we need is a way to measure in the future how well our, tests, uh, our test suite will perform, how well, uh, what, what is the regression detection capability going to be, okay? And this, this might sound kind of um, uh, strange, but uh, again, the, the analogy with, uh, uh, with calculus is, for example, that if code coverage was the instantaneous slope at a specific point in time, then mutation testing and the associated mutation score is the derivative of the evolution of the function of the evolution of, of the software. Again, this is very rough, okay? But mutation score and mutation testing do give you a really good indication of, of uh, how you'll, your test will perform in the future and if they will uh, catch uh, regressions uh, as your software evolves, okay? So it was used to, uh, used to be the case, uh, and it's, it's still in, in, in the software testing industry, it's still convention uh, to, to think of code coverage as the only criterion uh, to measure test suites against, okay? It, this is no longer the case. And I want you to, to uh, take away this, okay? If this, this is the only thing you take away, take away this. Code coverage is very inadequate, okay? It is a part of, of the quality of test suite, but it's not the only part. Uh, quality of test suite is made up of multiple aspects. One of them is code coverage. The other one is mutation score. The other one is how redundant your tests are. If you haven't seen the, the test byte on test redundancy and the effects on software, uh, I strongly recommend you see uh, that test byte uh, because test redundancy is linked to uh, bugs in software. Um, so the quality of a test suite is, is linked to these three, plus there are some other unknowns that we haven't yet uh, discovered or, or that are yet to be discovered, that once we do, it will give us a pretty good indication of how well our test suite will perform. Um, and I recommend you go to Test Bytes and see the videos on mutation testing and, and uh, test redundancy there. Thank you.